Hey, what's going on? It's Big Scott in today's Versus episode, and that's something new that I'm doing. I've done one so far, maybe a couple. I don't remember. I drink too much bourbon. But today we're doing the Knob Creek Single Barrel. This one comes from my good friends at Jackson Wine and Spirits here in Lexington, Kentucky. Very excited. They called me, had me a couple bottles put back, and then I've owned this one for quite a while. They also hooked me up with it. You can find it. I mean, it's probably not everywhere, but it certainly exists. You look really hard. You should find it. Knob Creek 12 year, uh, and it's the limited release cast strength, uh, and it is a higher proof, and just a tad bit, 120, 124.3. I'm going to drink both today. I'm, yes, I'm going to open both bottles, uh, and I'm pretty excited about that, and I'll talk about the differences that I taste just for you. And so uh, your 12 years more of the Prohibition style, you'll see that like on the old Forester bottles, some of the older companies that have been around. Um, so that's, you know, going to be your cast strength here. And then what you're seeing pop up in a lot of retailers is the single barrel store picks. And uh, it's really cool, especially if you can be a part of the tasting. I've been blessed to be a part of a couple. Um, and uh, so you're going to see that. And on a secondary market, the... Store picks are all the buzz. For me, I mean, it doesn't matter. I'm just after a good, excuse me, I'm just after a good bottle when it comes to, you know, what the store pick is. So, it, you know, if it's Blanton's, for example, it's all single barrel, I could care less what store it comes from. Uh, Weller, the same thing. Uh, but it's, people are charging more on a secondary market. All I want is the bottle of said Weller or Blanton's or, you know, Eagle Rare, the single barrels are definitely more rare, but I would be interested in the bottle itself, the bourbon, not so much the store pick. So that's just my take on it, but they, that's kind of what we have here. Uh, but, uh, you know, recently tasting uh, the Jackson Wine and Spirit Stores uh, Woodford Reserve, I'm very excited about that. So starting with the single barrel, I'll just note that the a ton of wax on here and it's just never ending, um, which is good because it'll stay sealed really well from the, you know, the plant bottling area to your door. I got to admit so far, you know, this single barrel smells really, really good, really, really sweet poured a little too much there uh let me shut that bad boy back up nice and tight though so you know a lot of people say they like to air out their bourbon me particularly not so much like to preserve that full flavor it is a glass bottle and i and another cool noticeable thing is that the uh plug goes really tight in there uh you can't say that about a, t a ton of other bourbons out there they're, they're, you know, they're easily, you know, popped off, slid on. So this is really cool uh, that it takes work. So uh, I guess what I'm trying to say is that if the bottle tipped over or whatnot, I'm pretty sure it'd be really safe in there. So, hey, bottoms up with the single barrel store pick. And just like your normal tasting, I always like to give it a good smell with the mouth open. Whew, really sweet. Definitely kind of a fruity flavor. You can smell the oak too, which is really cool. Mm, give it a good swish. Definitely taste the oak. Ooh, just a little bit of a hug. They call it the Kentucky hug. Very flavorful. Got some vanilla in there. This second uh, sip should be a lot better. Still feeling that hug on this single barrel. Oh. You know what? Very good stuff. Uh, not in so much the category of being super smooth, but not overbearing and very sweet and just flavorful. I'm actually surprised at this single barrel Knob Creek. Uh, 
for whatever reason, I, I wasn't thinking that I was going to enjoy it this much. It's damn good. All right, on to the next. I'm just getting a little cleanse in there of the palette. Again, these corks are not that easy to remove. Wow. This one definitely smells darker, very rich. And uh, so very glad I got this open. This one was a little bit more tough to get off. And <laughs> what's funny is there's a little big, little tiny piece of the wax ring in there. I'm gonna try to get it out. I'm sure it won't kill me otherwise. So you never know what'll happen on bourbon cars and cigars. So very, very darker, very rich smell compared to single barrel. Again, sweet smell, cherry aromas here, um, almost like a dark chocolate. Again, cherry as well, and certainly vanilla. Smell it off my fingers. I'm trying to think. Uh, kind of like the wild, for me, the wild turkey uh, long branch. Very good pour, that one. Very excited now. Single barrel. Here goes to the Knob Creek 12-year cast straight, pre-prohibition -pro style. Wow. Wow. So as we bottom near the end of this... <laughs> Had a little camera difficulties there, but we're back up. I would compare this now pre-12 year, you know, and remember everyone's palette is different to this, and I have some bottles down here of this uh, Woodford Reserve Double Double Oak, except richer. This is a very refreshing, uh, obviously wood oak flavor, which is really nice, you know, to be able to drink oak through a bottle. Certainly the Double Double Oak by Woodford Reserve. So blessed to have a good amount of that. Damn it if I'm not impressed. So, the winner in this versus match for me, I'm going to take another sip of the winner tonight, is going to be the 12-year pre-prohibition style bourbon whiskey. Damn good. There's the fire. Sits on the tongue. Back of the throat. Mild hug for me. This one gives you more of a deeper hug. Boom. Impactful. Bear hug, if you will. Damn good pour. But this bad boy right here, usually I buy in twos because I'm going to drink one and collect one. I don't know why I waited six months to open this bottle. 12 year is a damn good pour. And there you have it. Those are my, this is my pick for tonight. Remember, Ellington Reserve beat the rabbit hole high gold last time on uh, my last versus episode. So between the 12 year and the single barrel, 12 year, all day, every day. Damn good pour. I'm Big Scott. This has been Bourbon Cards and Cigars Versus. We'll see you in the next episode.